<coughs> this is a second film uh, aimed at state agents, letting agents, those sorts of people, to show how using a combination of TurboCAD and Google SketchUp you can jazz up your presentations of the properties you're showing. Again, I think I must emphasize I'm no expert at um, Google SketchUp. I know TurboCAD pretty well. Um, Google SketchUp I just use occasionally to enhance my drawings. And um, so this is really to show you not only how to do certain basic things, but also to, to make you see that someone just <coughs> with just a, uh, watching a few training videos can quite easily pick up the basics of, of Google SketchUp. I would encourage you to, um, to watch the training films of Aidan Chopra on YouTube. I mean, he's the real expert at this, not me. So I'm a real scratch user of it, and so I, I make mistakes as I go along and have to do things twice, but, and that's just how it is. But I, what I'm trying to explain to you is this is not a difficult package to learn. This is not like, a, like many CAD packages that take weeks and weeks. So the first... The first uh, tutorial ended with, uh, w well, with that, only without the furniture in it. Now what I've done is, using the Google Warehouse, I've populated it with some furniture, and look, I've even put a girlfriend out front for you there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the three or four tools you need to bring things from the warehouse, from the 3D warehouse, into your uh, SketchUp drawing here, and resize them and reorientate them. So if we say, we'll just do one easy thing here, we're just going to put a bookcase over there. So I'm going to go to uh, File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models, and simply type in Bookcase. Hit Return, there's a bookcases. And again, you can see there's 1,250 of them. So I'll click onto this one here, that's the one I'll have. It looks fine to me, that'll do a tree. Do I want it loaded straight in? Yep, I do. Here it is. Bit of a biggie. I look of it but anyway if I sort of pin it down there first thing I'm going to do is see where it is well it's on the right plane it's it's on the floor as it were it's in the wrong orientation so I'm gonna have to rotate it so here's my rotate tool come down to here uh, click onto there click onto here and rotate that by 90 degrees and I'll just type in 90 there we go next thing I've got to do is I've got to move it so I'm going to hit M on the keyboard, zoom in there, I'm going to pick it up from there. I'm going to zoom out, and then I'm going to uh, zoom in and try and put it in that corner. But it's a little bit on a tricky side, because I mean, how, how do I know, I don't quite know where I am here, really. So um, so the thing to do is to, I'm just going to uh, dump it outside for now. And I'm going to, using these uh, styles here, uh, and perhaps the x-ray style would be the first one to look at. Oh, but there's different other ones here. Like They're all very different. It shows you in a different size. So it means you can sort of look through walls. So I'm going to move that from there to there. So I'm going to go M for move here. And I'm going to take that in there and snap it to that. And there I know that that corner is in the right place. Okay, and then I can go back and turn that off and turn this on. Um, that off. There we go. There's our 3D picture game. Now it's obviously a bit big, so I'm going to hit S on the keyboard. It stands for scale, and I'm just going to rescale it. And I want it that sort of size. There you go. Simple as that. Can't be easier. Now, for this window here, that window, I want two of those there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the window. I'm going to hit M on the keyboard for move, snap to this position, hit control on the keyboard, which changes my move to copy, and I'm going to copy another one next to it there. So there's two now, two next to each other, and I'm going to select both of them, right, ooh, there we go, let's get this in the right place. There you go, it's caught up with me now. So I'm going to select these, and obviously I've got to rotate these as well. The first thing I can do is I can make these into a group. So if I right click, I can make them into a group, and I'm dealing with one thing, in case I'm making mistakes later. I want to rotate, so up here again, rotate, 
come down here we want to rotate from here if this thing keeps jumping around get it in the right plane and then put your finger on shift and it'll stay in that plane left click there and I want this bit here to come around again oops where are we going let's see there we go and I want it to come around 90 degrees type in 90 hit return spacebar come out right so now we've got to do is the same as we did for the other one M for move snap on here bring that up there this time I don't have to go x-ray or anything I can snap to that position zoom around this time scale rescale I want this to go up to the top I think that's done this to come into there it says it's on the face looks right to me I think oh, no no that's slightly wrong there um, so let's try and move that up take it around the outside let's see what we've got inside oh hang on that's no, not the right place at all okay so what have we done here so I'm going to come out of there hit M again and I'm going to take this back over where it should have been in the first place here should be there that's right right let's have another look and see where we went wrong Alright, it looks okay now. I'll spin it round, look on the inside. Perhaps the scale in there needs to go in a bit. It's a bit thick, stick it out a bit. I can take that in. You'll see it sort of snap to the wall there. That'll do. Hit the space bar. There we go. That's done. So, you know, sometimes it doesn't go right the first time round. Who cares? It's not that difficult. As I say, as I keep emphasising, it's not that difficult to, to muck about with. So obviously this back door came in uh, and because these other doors were the same size I simply brought it in from the warehouse, copied it twice and then placed these in. Uh, this kitchen came in as one whole thing as you can see. Uh, it was a little bit on the small side so I had to draw this part of it myself but that was easy to relate it to, to this part here and I could match the colours later if I wished. Uh, the bathroom as well came in as one piece you can see that when I mean, you can bring in individual bits but you can change it I can again bring that out and give, give myself more space there if I wanted to if I hit S for scale I could obviously bring this out there and snap to that wall and that would be possible that's easy enough as you see um, the walls I painted the walls were well, there just the, uh, the paint box which is uh, in a uh, paint bucket rather in tools paint bucket you can see there, just like any paint bucket of a, um, a, any drawing package, what have we got there? We've got some walls there. So if I clicked onto that wall, clicked on there, it's as simple as that. If you don't like it, Control Z, or you can paste over it. Okay, so that's all there is to that. So I think you can see that's quite straightforward. You don't, you don't need to get many tools. And um, and then, um, then that's it. And then when you look at it as a standard view from the top, that's what it looks like and that's rather more attractive and that's it should we uh should we let the girlfriend in nah let's leave it here <laughs>